O you who are in love and long to see the beloved Sayyidina Muhammad don't sleep. Ahead are the illuminated lights of the Salam Valley and you're so close to the sacred sanctuary of Medina in the presence of the one who is the best of Arabs and non-Arabs, the best and the most beloved of Allah's creation. Stand even teaches in these nasheeds, teach the adab, the teaching the adab and the, the reverence for this reality that stand in reverence in the front of Sayyidina Muhammad holy grave. You are in the presence of the one who is the most honoured in ranks in Divinely Presence and in his resting place is the privilege of nearness to him and the Divine satisfaction and contentment and all generosity. And by reciting these nasheeds and salawats Allah sends our soul into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Means a tremendous gift in which Allah gave to creation and it's accessible just by durud al-sharif. No hard things, you don't have to watch any movies where any special cups are hidden and any statues pointing to different directions. Have you seen the quest for the Holy Grail? They're looking for something that one of the Prophets drank from it, maybe it's holy from it, maybe it's a piece of wood from it. Allah said, I give you the best of all creation. If you only knew the rank of this Sultan and what authority he has and you can go to his physical body in Medina to Munawara and if you can't reach there and even if you can reach there, I grant you the ticket to be in his spiritual presence just by durood al-sharif. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad that soul moves and is present in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad It's huge immense gift, take away of all difficulties. Anyone having difficulty make durood al-sharif, make salawats on Sayyidina Muhammad Anyone short in their finance, difficulty in their business, sick in their bed, whatever difficulty it is taken away with the salawat on Sayyidina Muhammad Brings the proximity, brings the grace and the rahmah of Allah brings every beatific ocean. If you're going to be in difficulty at least fragrance it with the love of Sayyidina Muhammad He makes every mushkil to be opened. Why? Doesn't necessarily mean the mushkil is a guy who keep emailing that he's leaving, he's running and every type of crazy talk. I don't think you got it if you're watching. It wasn't about escaping a difficulty. It wasn't, I'm going to go to the shaykhs and they're going to do crystal ball magic for you and they're going to do something and every difficulty go away. No, they're teaching you that difficulty has a hikmah. Without that difficulty you're Pharaoh. Well, I can hear myself saying it many times. <laughs> I'm a Pharaoh, all of us. If Allah don't give difficulty to us, the Pharaonic reality will rise. Allah's ni'mat and rest and blessing upon us is that put you through continuous difficulty, continuously squeeze you but make your squeeze to be sweet. So as soon as you squeeze and you make salawat on Sayyidina Muhammad there's a cracking and your soul is coming out. If that soul is moving into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad every beatific light and fragrance begins to dress it and through the difficulty you feel it. When there's no difficulty you're not crying. Every time you're sad, where are you if you're a believer? You're in sujood. Ya Rabbi it's heavy for me, it's too much for me. So but every time I give you ease, that's why Allah said, first I give you difficulty then I give you ease. Why He didn't say, I give you ease and then I give you difficulty? Because the difficulty it brings us into sujood, it brings us into crying onto Allah it brings us back onto the carpet, back into what Allah wanted of, of the real relationship. There's nobody who can help you but me. When difficulty comes, come to me, I grant you the ease. We pray that Allah 
take away difficulties Amen. with this beatific light and beatific love and grant us from this ocean of ease. We don't know what type of difficulties were coming in this month of Safar and that Allah made it to be cool and peaceful, took away through the Ahlul Bayt of the difficulty they endure, what type of difficulties were taken away from people. In Rahmah that with the birth and the opening of Rabbil Awwal that Allah was going to send His immense Rahmah, His immense mercy upon this earth as a salvation for all of creation. All this creation was to give a beatific gift for the arrival of Sayyidina Muhammad Why Allah didn't send us to the moon? He made this earth to be beatific because the arrival and the step in the qadam of Sayyidina Muhammad was going to be entering onto this earth. And Allah shows His tashrif and ihtiram, His love and His respect because He wants us to learn that, look how I'm respecting my beloved creation because you don't know the secret of whose light is He reflecting. That I was a hidden treasure, I wanted to be known. Do you know me yet? Do you know the attributes that I dressed upon this soul? I made the earth to be beautiful for that arrival. I made every flower to give a fragrance. Why well, Allah could have made the flower like a cactus? We could have been living in a desert, everywhere would have been a desert and everything would have been a cactus. Just Porcupine, why? Why Allah made everything to be beatific, gave you a desert, gave you an ocean, gave you mountains, gave you flowers and flowers of every imagination, of every fragrance, of every beauty for the arrival of Sayyidina Muhammad When a guest comes you want to put not just a hamburger for them. If he's an important guest you say, I'm going to put everything, I'm going to put samples of everything so that maybe your palate will like something more than the other and for me to show how much I love and respect you. All of what I have I put on to this sufra for you and, put, and Allah is the best of ones to show the example. And how he Allah addressed all the Prophets in Qur'an. But how he addressed Sayyidina Muhammad is with a completely different ihtiram. Always a title on Sayyidina Muhammad Sending that I, I made all this earth to be beautiful for you, to be fragrant for you, to be a, a beauty and a treasure for your eyes and all your senses. I made everything to be beautiful for you, for my love for you. And when I called you into my presence I sent you my angels. I didn't just say, come, I sent you the best of my angels, the archangels to appear. I sent them with robes from paradise, I sent them from water of paradise to wash your blessed soul, to wash your blessed body and I sent you your limousine from paradise, your burak. When you have a guest, now not Qur'an, somebody come into town you send a, a limousine to the airport, Allah said, I sent the best of what I had to show my ihtiram, my love for Sayyidina Muhammad Then you see, wow we have, we have a big competition here. Allah's let the, the standard be unimaginable and that's why awliya said, no matter what you do to show your love for Sayyidina Muhammad it's nothing compared to what Allah has given for that reality. So as much, as much as we do for the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Allah is pleased and blessed and says, this is a blessed gathering, this is a love gathering. Now you understood my secret. I was a hidden treasure, I wanted to be known and I am known through Muhammadun Rasulullah If you love him, you love me. If you obey him, you obey me. If you see the beauty in him, you have seen the beauty in Allah Every beatific attribute of Allah reflects to the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings 
and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.